Five. Yeah. During 2013, Peter Messer lived Peter. with uncertainty. Peter Messer. At Three Wheelers, he has been making documentary films since 2006 on transport issues for the disabled and on his life story. This is the next. No king! <laughs> Come on, please. Put me out and, and get me speaking more clearer. And I done a lot of performances. On the 31st of March, Kingston Borough Council terminated their support for Peter. I called you in here for a, a reason. Well, I, I'd like to talk about... What were they trying to decide? If they get a one boy that want me to be on the book. Email, 2nd of May 2013. Amy Cook, social worker, borough of Sutton. I've just been allocated Peter Messer's case. And because Peter is a new client to Sutton, I'll need to do a supported self-assessment and a support plan. So, are you interested? Oh my, me. All right, you might be. Okay, let me just be pro let me just be frank with you. I know everything. I know from Bonnie getting you off, from right down to all the dastardly deeds you've done around the community. Email thirteenth of May, twenty thirteen. To Amy Cook. Have you a day in week commencing 20th of May to come and visit Peter? I've got the man in a cage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, which borough had you been with since birth? My borough of Okay, and did you live in Kingston the entire time you? Yes. So why did Kingston decide to stop paying for your living? I moved to Sutton. Hello. 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 Hey, Paul. Hello, Sona. <laughs> Where's Pete? Hello. Hello. Oh. 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 Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, Chris. What's your sign? You're filming me. I am. Good to see you. Thank you. Is Peter around? Peter's in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Vinny. Here we are. Where's the kitchen? Turn right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pete. <laughs> nice to see you. I do. because you'll trip me over, all right? <laughs> nice to see your wife again, is it? Yeah. Oh, me. Uh, a lot. 
right. I feel right. I am. Uh, how am I feel again? Thank you for wearing to have a bit of your day out of your day. Sorry. <laughs> it's a very busy day, isn't it? You've just started and the phone's already gone. Yeah, that should turn that off. Um, hold on. Email 4th of June 2013 to Amy Cook. We wondered if you are ready yet to come back over and go through Peter's support plan. Because we were aware that, that, that Kingston were, were paying. When we, when we chased them down, then they, they usually paid up pretty well straight away at that point. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, um, how are you, man? On my feet the whole day, and why? Are you, why are you home? Why are you home? I don't mean well. Stay aging. Nice. If you think you want to be home a bit more, I that's, am. That's good. Changing the way what I am going to work. Email sixth of June, twenty thirteen. I'm in the process of completing Peter's needs assessment. When it is complete and has been approved, I will be in touch to arrange a date. Oh, there you are. Seb, I'm so looking forward to my foot massage. I can do it. Yeah. We will. Really? Hmm. Okay. Email 25th of June 2013 to Amy Cook. I wonder if you are ready yet to come back and see Peter to go through his support plan. It's nearly five weeks since we last met and both Peter and ourselves are concerned about further funding delays. I want my candy man now, meet me tonight at the same place. This is the... We're trying to figure out how much is Pete and how much is Biggie in what we're doing. Mm. At the moment, it's Pete and Yvonne, isn't it? Mm. No, it's Pete and Yvonne. I'm just reading. Biggie? Is that you? Biggie? You're Sebastian. Why is someone texting you Biggie? Do you have trouble with your identity, Pete? <laughs> Email 2nd of July 2013 from Amy Cook. Apologies for the delayed response to your email and I do appreciate your concerns. As soon as the assessment of Peter's needs is approved, I'll be in touch to visit and discuss Peter's support plan. While Sergeant's plan is slowly forming, Kingston have paid nothing for over three months. We took some legal advice and, and, and they just pushed them along and said pay by this date and quoted the law and, 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 uh, and, and Kingston understood that and paid mm. for it. So um, that's all we had to do really, not much. I guess the important thing was to carry on with your care package so that it wouldn't affect your day-to-day -day life. And in fact, had you not known about it all, which clearly you had to, um, you wouldn't have known because every day was was the same. It carried on seamlessly, didn't it? So, you know, there's a bit of sort of pushing and prodding, but that's all it is because you know we 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 have the law on our side, thank goodness, and that's that's you know because a small company like ours sort of depends on that depends on that. So um, so yeah, that was all. Um, I think that's why we we were sort of reassuring you at the time, really saying you know, don't worry because we always knew that that it would it would sort itself out. Correctly, they're saying the law is on their side, 
But the human side of a protracted experience is, is perhaps tougher. I never had this happen before in my life. And, and my, I've got to be still on for my mum. When I went home for the weekend, my mum were following me correctly. She don't want her son get bottom. Email 10th of July 2013 from Amy Cook. Peter's assessment has now been approved. I can come out to discuss Peter's support plan on the week commencing 29th of July. Acting with Yvonne. She came to Three Wheelers as a volunteer and became Pete's wife, on screen anyway, in crime drama Breaking Bonnie. Hold on one sec. We wanted to film a car sequence Thank you very much. between Biggie, a drug dealer, and his wife, Helen. Look through the view. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. It's very nice. <laughs> I'm trying to get this elbow. What's that? What's that? That's it. That's it. That's a bit better. Oh. Hi, yeah. darling. How was your day then? Did yeah, that sort of thing. Great. Yeah. And then you'd start the car. Okay. Right. Okay. Switch okay, off. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Rolling. Camera's running. Two. Very quiet, please. What? Well, hold on. Am I doing the same thing? Yes. Oh, yeah. Please. You're wasting film. We're going now. <laughs> Sorry, that was all. Right, ready Yvonne? Yeah. For your big speech? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Camera running? Yeah. Action. Hi darling, how was your day then? Okay. Going to drive? Oh god, what a thought. Take three. <laughs> was that one or four? I let the aeroplane go. Was that four? Camera running? Yeah. And action Yvonne. Yeah. Hi darling, how was your day? Okay? Right, let's go. Oh, I got your head in the shot. Okay, maybe that's the one. Just going shopping. Not yet. It's not that warm, it's not, it's not as hot today, so it should be okay. Yeah, I think it's much better, isn't it? You'll light up Wallington. <laughs> there you go. Email 16th of August 2013 from Amy Cook. I'm working on Peter's support plan and will be in contact soon to check the breakdown of the support hours are correct. Put you two there, okay? Can we watch the news? That's when Pete found out he was to receive two hours care per day instead of 24. So you'd already waited without any indication of the end date for this entire process. You had no idea how long it would take. And then suddenly they drop this bombshell on you that they want to take you from 24 down to two hours a day. Mm. How did you feel? Angry. Angry, not mm. surprised. Knowing that you had such a good friend here at Free Wheelers, the idea of potentially having so little care package that you wouldn't be able to attend Free Wheelers must have been extra upsetting for you. I I've done all my email to be with you today. I am giving up be with you for good. 
learning work and you're going to be using your, using your reading skills but we're also making it into a little bit of a puzzle. Have a look at it Linda on your sheet. What's that a list of at the top? The names. The names of the people in the group isn't it? Mm. How about a green? I use volunteers in quite a lot of classes but particularly in this class um, my volunteer is Peter Messer in this class and it, Pete does a lot of things. If I, if I need things to be researched on the computer, to just, for instance, find out what groups are available locally, so that as people do gain confidence and are ready to explore a bit more, um, we can have then a little session on, well, these groups are available. You're going to design something similar to that for me, mm. a tracking sheet, mm. so I could figure mm. out who's done what. Mm. Did you email that to yourself? Yeah. And did you actually get round to doing it? <laughs> because of the nature of a couple of my students, I don't like leaving them to their own devices too much. Um, number one, they get bored. And number two, they're not very good at, at independent thinking yet. So I can be working with them and Pete can be doing my research and then he'll say to me, oh, I found such and such. So we get to, to look at it together then as a group, rather than um, ra rather than just me me with my back to the class doing stuff. Have you got the tapes? Uh, uh, yes, I received the invitation some while ago. They're coming. Okay. Well, okay, I give up in my life. I I come up with. I will do up But I came back. <laughs> yeah, you did. You bounced back. Yeah. In autumn 2013, Pete's life was like this. Care package reduced to two hours from 24, facing loss of free wheelers and scholar, needing to leave Cambridge Road, his home, unwilling to move back in with and impose on his aging mother. He had broken his collarbone. can't say I do really. I mean, my husband's always been very successful, a busy, busy mm. chap. Um, I haven't taken a lot of interest in what he does. He doesn't take a lot of interest in what I do. I no, have my okay. charity work and things and all sorts of things like that, really. It takes uh, up a lot that's of my good. time. Very public spirit in them, yeah. It took four months more to resolve the issue of Pete's care package and restore it to an appropriate level. The layers of bureaucracy are many. By half term, next half term, so six weeks or so, we, we will need that so we can tick off who's completed. I'm done with the tick. Oh, you've done the tick sheet? Mm. Thank you. Email 7th of January 2014 from Amy Cook. Happy New Year to you too. Yes, Peter's personal budget has been authorised. Then he says, Go up, give it to her boss. 
Depois sede ou de né ou já é né né ou já é já é né so that's, that means that it's been approved. Yeah. So the mayor represents the final seal of approval on it. Previously on Shady Oaks. What we need to talk about? Me and you. And our kids. So are you going to come and sit next to me or stay where you are? Stay where I Okay. You do you remember we had twins 18 years ago? No. We love to watch the Free Wheelers videos. Number one, they're just a bit of fun. But it, it's such a good example to other people that with a bit of encouragement, they too can do things. There's Brittany Mary, that's Shady's daughter, I think, always asks for money. I maybe have had over the last couple of years, maybe five students saying, I'd love to act, I'd love to do this, that and the other. <laughs> to have a local resource like Free Wheelers, is, is amazing and when you're able to, to show the video clips there's people in it they recognize and they say I didn't know they could do that I didn't know Peter could do this or Sonas could do that um, and it is it, wonderful and the messages that come across are so much better because they are people with disabilities or learning difficulties aiming it at other people with learning difficulties and disabilities but mainstream as well. Well, I think they will show you the... I said, oh, you'll have your dinner later on. I'm on my tea break. Some of the, the, the feedback we get, especially from students, who maybe... They maybe only see each other at college. And then when they see a whole different side of somebody they know from college, and I didn't know they could do that, and it gives them that little bit of oomph that I might be able to try something. Right, Shady, we need to sit down and talk very seriously, okay? And soon. And it, whether it's acting or whether it's a different activity, it just shows that other people they're at college with go outside the box and do develop different skills elsewhere. You can't do anything. It's, it's a lovely message.